you're moving to an apartment or you already live in an apartment and you want a bird that's not gonna cause the neighbors to kick you out or the landlord to come over and move you out of the way hi guys and welcome back to another video of mine today i'll be helping you guys pick out the top five apartment friendly birds so today we're gonna go over some quiet bird species now keep in mind um, these are more quiet birds but they're not silent so if you want a silent bird then maybe you should go for a fish or a reptile, they, those, are, those are better options then. <laughs> so I also want to say that all birds are individuals uh, and these bird species I am going to name, they are more quiet but there is always a crazy one among them and that crazy one could be your bird so they might be louder anyway. <laughs> and I'll be naming smaller bird species and this is because smaller bird species are smaller so in apartments, which is small, they'll have more space to fly than big birds in small apartments. And smaller birds also have um, smaller focal cords and small focal cords can produce less sound than bigger focal cords in general. So that's why I'll be naming some smaller species. I'll have two bigger ones too in this list. So stay tuned for those if you are looking for a little bit of a bigger bird. I will be going over smaller birds, but keep in mind a smaller bird doesn't mean that it needs a small cage. Smaller birds still need a decency to live and have enough space to climb around and have fun and stretch their wings completely. So don't go for like a tabletop, tabletop cage. Go for something that's bigger, that can stand on the ground and uh, is actually good enough for your bird. Like something like this. This is a cage of my cockatiel and he absolutely has enough space for it. Now, without letting me bother you further, let's get into the bird species that I have prepared for you today. So the first bird species we have on this list is the parrotlet. And the parrotlet is actually the smallest bird or parrot species that is kept as a pet. Um, there is a smaller species in the wild, but that one is not being kept as a pet. The parrotlet is actually uh, having the personality of a really big macaw in a really teeny tiny tiny little body. They're smaller than budgies and they come in lots of different colors. They can also produce like small sentences, uh, but they are not very well known for their talking abilities. There's a lot of videos of them doing tricks and cuddling and they're very adorable little birds. They can't produce a lot of sound because they are so small and they are freaking adorable. So go get them if you like. <laughs> now here comes a different bird that is not a parrot, but canaries and finches. So canaries and finches are often being kept in aviaries, but they can also be very well kept in an apartment. They'll live lively up the room and they'll make it more busy and talkative. And if you want a lot of stuff going on in your room, go get a canary and a finch or finch. They are not very loud. Uh, they do chit chatter the whole time, just a little bit like budgies. Canaries can sing very pretty as well, especially the males. Um, now, they are harder to tame than parrots and cockatiels or budgies or parrotlets, but if you do and put the time in, then they are actually tameable, which is really awesome and that is not very common that you have a tame finch or canary, so if you like that, go for those! So I just wanted to say that I don't have these species in any order of the quietest one or the best bird. It's all up to you and your personal preferences which one you like the best. And that is why they are not ranked in top one or top five or whatever. Um, so it's just in between. So now we'll go on to the budgie, of course. So I bet you expected the budgie to be on this list. Budgies are amazing. Like they are um, vocal, but they are not loud. So it's very nice to have a budgie in the room because they just chatter the whole day a little bit with you and if there's multiple budgies then they chatter with each other and there's just always something going on in your room which is really nice. So the budgie actually holds the Guinness World of Records for knowing the most words by a parrot which is really awesome. So if you get a budgie and it is a male because females are not known to talking so much if you get a male then there's a high chance that you have a talking parrot in your home which is super small and not too loud. So if you want to go get a budgie, then go for a budgie. And next up we have the cockatiels, of course. So here's Archer, my little cockatiel. He's a male and males are known for singing a lot and they can imitate a lot of radio noises and sounds. Females are not known for doing this that much. 
they are also more quiet but cockatiels are more quiet than different parrots out there that's why they make great pets for an apartment now cockatiels are very dusty and dandry and when they like groom themselves and they, sh they sh shake uh, they get a, like a whole dust bomb or a cloud from dust out of them and if you have allergies then this might not be the best bird for you so go check out in your friend's house if they have a cockatiel go check out if you are having a reaction to them or go to a pet store just check them out because it would be really sad if you had to rehome them now they love scritches most cockatiels and they are also a little bit more easygoing in comparison to other parrots like the parrotlet is very outgoing and active the cockatiel just like sitting and grooming himself a little bit all day and staring at things so if you like that kind of parrot more then go get a cockatiel maybe done like you then the next we have the pionus parrot this is for the people who want a bigger parrot now the pionus parrot is like way bigger than Arja. They are known for being more quiet than other parrots. Um, and But they're not very common. So if you do find one, then the price might be a little bit higher than you would expect for the other species I have named here. And now keep in mind, if they want, they can actually um, scream quite loud. They are just not known, known for doing it that much. So if you want to be honest, parrot, then go get that one. So then of course I have two honorable mentions for this video, which is the Borcus parakeet, uh, which is very pink and pretty parakeet. It's a little bit smaller than a cockatiel and they actually get along with cockatiels quite well. Um, they are very quiet, they chatter a little bit and they are also really nice and quiet birds for apartments. So then we also have the Senegal. This is a, a bigger parrot. Um, they are more quiet than other birds. They are amazing companions. They do need to be trained very well, just like the other parrots, but they, these guys do need to train. Um, so those are my two honorable mentions. And let me know in the comments which parrot you actually like the most and which one you would get if you are living in an apartment or we're going to move there. So I'm Kelly from Kumpa, and here is Archer, my cockatiel again. And we are very happy that you were watching today. And if you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I will be seeing you again next time. Bye-bye.